I'm Joe Feek, Senator of Poultry Health Today, and with me is Dr. Don Waldrop. He's a veterinarian for Zoetis. Don, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, sir. I understand you've been getting a lot of questions lately about real virus. It's not a, a new virus by any means, but you're getting a lot more questions about it. What's going on in the field? Well, I guess uh, maybe three to five years ago, we began to see, we began to see birds affected with a, with a leg issue an infected leg issue and sometimes with an intestinal issue and uh, as you as you probably know we vaccinate with a standard virus in our breeder population so the chicks would be, be protected but in this case in this case the virus seems to have changed three to five years ago and so birds that were normally protected by standard vaccination are not protected anymore and is this unusual for a real virus to change? It's a very unusual. Uh, I've been around the industry a long time, and it's the first time I've known the viruses have changed at all in uh, more than 30 years. So. And so and when you say it's changed, I mean, what kind of different symptoms are, are, are you seeing in birds? Well, the symptoms are pretty similar from the standard virus and the variant virus that we've seen lately. But, but what's changed is the standard vaccination programs in the breeder population don't protect anymore. So even though you're doing your normal vaccination programs, they're not protected. So you have to take defensive measures in order to uh, protect the brawler against that variant virus. And when left unprotected, what do you see? Yeah, what happens is uh, uh, most, of the, mo the, most of the damage is done in the legs. The birds are not mobile so unable to get the feed and water very well and not grow very efficiently. So uh, they, they wind up being particularly light in weight. Uh, birds that should be weighing uh, four and a half pounds at kill age now weigh three and a half pounds. So there's great loss to the companies, great loss to the farmers who are growing the birds. And when does the real virus tend to strike? Well, most of the time, most of the time, there are two ways they can get it. One is shed through the eggs of the mothers into the, into the progeny, so they're infected at day old when they arrive. The other way is uh, the virus is very persistent, so it can stay in the house between flocks. So you may get what we call horizontal infection, that is the virus is caught in the house. The major way, though, is through egg shed. When the breeder flock becomes infected, then those eggs become infected and the birds are born with it. And can you test for real virus so that you know it's coming? Yeah, well, you, you, yeah, what generally happens is uh, the, way it, the way this variant virus is developed is a, a breeder flock got infected. They got infected and then you begin to look, you know, the, the question you've always got is, well, did I fail to vaccinate very well? And historically, over the past 30 years, the vaccines have worked quite well. So the first thing you usually do is go through and say, well, maybe I didn't get these vaccinated well. Maybe something's wrong with the vaccine, that kind of thing. But, but yeah, so you'll usually go that way. And then if that fails, then you have to start doing the virus isolation and identification work with the researchers. So what then can producers do to protect their flocks against real virus if the older vaccines are, are not holding this, what, what yeah. you believe is a new variant? Yeah, well, what is what is hap what is developed over this three to five year period is that is the virus is identified, isolated and identified, and you can take that virus and make what what's called an autogenous vaccine, so that a, a company that might have several breeder flocks can vaccinate those breeder flocks with the new vaccine. That's usually that's usually an interim step. And the next step would be uh, production companies that's in the business of making biological vaccines would incorporate the new virus into their standard vaccine. And, and that way, that way you get the, all the progeny protected. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. Okay. Thanks so much for filling us in. We've been talking to Dr. Don Waldrop, veterinarian at Zoetis. Thanks again, Doc. Yes, sir.